there is fire on the mountain for the Edo State Governor. Unfortunately, the PDP actually uh, admits that there is error in Obaseki certificate. Who is going to rectify this issue? Now, remember that his inauguration should take place on the 12th of this month, November, and uh, the preparations are ongoing on, uh, about the uh, inauguration. But now that PDP has admitted that there is an error in the certificate, who can actually contest that? Anyway, more details as to what happened right here. And of course, don't forget to drop your comment and also give this video a thumbs up. Yes, and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do ensure you hit the subscribe button immediately and also turn on your notification bell. Okay, guys, let us dive right into the details of this report and see what uh, the PDP meant by saying that there's error in Obaseki's uh, certificate. It says that the People's Democratic Party PDP has admitted the error in a do state governor's Godwin Obaseki's University of Ibadan certificate. It blamed this photocopying machine for the error. The error, dis the error disqualified Obaseki from seeking a second term on the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC. A petition, a petition by the Action Democratic Party ADP and its governorship candidate, Iboy Emmanuel, accused the Baseki of forgery, giving false information and perpetrating electoral malpractices. The party prayed the tribunal to disqualify Baseki for his controversial first degree certificate and nullify the votes cast on him. It also prayed the tribunal to order the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to conduct a fresh election involving all the qualified candidates but excluding PDP and Obaseki. But PDP in its reply to ADP and Emmanuel on Tuesday said there was a mix-up in Obaseki's admission and graduation year. The party also admitted that despite the error Obaseki observed the mandatory National Youth Service Corps NYSC scheme, it added that the petition was incompetent and statute barred describing it as a pre-election matter which the tribunal could not entertain. It said, while filing, filling the forms of the election in 2016, Obaseki mistakenly filled in 1976 as the year of graduation, which was actually the year of his admission into UI. At the time Obaseki was completing his form CF001, in 2016, he deposed to an affidavit saying he had misplaced the originals of all the certificates while changing offices with the intention to apply for a reinsurance of the certificate. Subsequently, before Obaseki submitted his forms EC9 in 2020, the original certificate issued by UI was found which has the signature of the vice chancellor and registrar. The original certificate was issued in A5 size. However, in order for the photocopy to be attached to the form CF001, the size was reduced to A4 and in the process, leaving out some information on it. The tribunal lacks the jurisdiction to entertain the petition because it is started bird. The issue raised by the petitioners are averments which are not relevant in determining the petition well obviously we can see that the people's democratic pdp uh error the error they actually meant was not uh like uh he didn't go to school or perhaps uh they were just they just uh made clarifications on some of the things that actually uh went down with the uh obaseki's uh, certificate at the ui because uh uh, a lot of petitions have been written, especially one from the ADP, that is uh, the, the governorship candidate of the Action Democratic Party, which is Iboy Emmanuel, who also accused the governor of forgery, giving false information, and uh, as well perpetrating electoral malpractices. And he has also asked the tribunal to disqualify Obaseki because of the controversial first degree certificates. And he also said that the election should be nullified and every vote that was cast 
uh, on behalf of the PDP and Obas Eki should also be nullified. That he also prayed that the tribunal should order the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, to conduct a fresh election involving other candidates. But he said that Obaseki and his party, that is the People's Democratic Party, would not be part of that election. And he also said that uh, uh, that all of this, that he doesn't want the PDP because they are all uh, uh, full of lies. And But, you know, the PDP also responded and replied the ADP and the candidates on Tuesday and said it was just a mix-up and that uh, it was just a mix-up of the year of admission and the year of graduation of their candidate. And they also admitted that despite the error that of, that uh, the, the, their candidate, that is Obaseki, observed his uh, NYSC because he said the only issue they had was while he was filling the form for the election that he put the date of his graduation on the date of his admission in school. He said that was the only discrepancy. And if you check the certificate, that shows that his year of graduation was what he actually filled as the year of, uh, you know, his admission. He said, and all of that has been corrected. He said, and secondly, while uh, they were filling the form as well, that perhaps they wanted the, the certificate to fit the size of the form that after printing the form that it was actually an A5 uh, paper, but while it was attached to the form that it was A4 and leaving out some very relevant information like the signature signature of the vice chancellor and that of the registrar. He said those were the discrepancies and that was what actually cost him, you know, his chances with the All Progressive Congress. And later on, all of these were corrected and that was how he went ahead to bring his original certificate and clarified himself with the University of Ibadan. And since then, there has really been no issue with the uh, governor, but, you know, and they also plead and said that uh, all of these things that the ADP and the candidate is actually filing for, that they are no longer, you know, they lack jurisdiction and they can no longer be used against him at the tribunal. So definitely they should look for something else to actually hold the governor against because so some of these issues are issues that should have been talked about before the election not after the election he said and right now that all of these are not relevant in determining or determining the petition at the moment so that was it from the uh, pdp they did not really mean that uh, they agreed that there's an error in the certificate. They only clarified some of the things that were not rightly said at the beginning. And, you know, they've cleared it up because, of course, we all know that the governor will be inaugurated on the 12th of this month. And we heartily congratulate him on behalf of the people of the uh, of the party the People's Democratic Party and all residents of Edo State. We heartily congratulate them for the inauguration of the governor Godwin Obaseki. So guys, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you. Drop a comment and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.